Hey, we're here this week and uh, got some more questions to answer. We're going to get right into it. Let me jump right in on it. All righty. First of all, so as I don't forget, I want to put a thank you to Rosa from Spain for the nice hat that she sent me and also the fan that she sent Joe, and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, first question, what did the TV room look like before it was painted yellow? Well, it changed uh, two or three times over the years. Now, when he first bought Graceland, as you come down the stairs and all into the uh, TV room and the uh, pool room, uh, there was no mirrors. That was later. You come down them, and you went to the left, you went into the TV room, you went to the right, you went into the pool room. Now, the TV room back in was kind of a cream colored, and uh, he had three TVs put in. There was only three channels. Uh, 3, 5, and 13. So you had three TVs put in, in the wall. Now above those TVs, he had his gold records hanging. And uh, that's where they were kept in the very beginning, long before the trophy room and all that. I didn't know that. And uh, above that was a, a movie screen. You pulled it down. As you come down the stairs and went to your left into the TV room, there was an ice cream bar there. Mm -hmm. Wow. And it I was uh, it was pink and white. Uh, the countertop and the bar stool seats were pink and the rest of it was white. Uh, had uh, Coke, well not Coke, but whatever Pepsi. you wanted to put Pepsi. in it. Pepsi mostly because he didn't, he didn't drink Coke. But you had, it was Pepsi and, uh, of course, a uh, blender making ice cream, uh, you know, uh, milkshakes and, wow. and whatever, you know. To the side was a little door. You went in that door and it was, you know, just so big and there was a movie projector there. And what that did is it, you took it and you brought it around here and there was a little opening. You just raised that opening and there was the projector. The projector. And uh, it projected right on the screen. And, uh, of course, naturally had his movies and and, uh, and a couple of others. And uh, whatever we, you know, would get, we'd, we'd sometimes watch them down there. And that's how it was back then. Later it changed again. Yeah. And then uh, if I, I can't, I believe it was a green color that they had changed the bar to. And... Uh, the seats and all, so it changed a couple, three times. Uh, then when uh, Linda Thompson uh, decorated it and all, that's when it became the yellow and uh, and the colors that it is now that you see. And so she decorated that in the pool room and some of the rest of the house. And uh, it's, it stayed that way from there on. Well, that answers that question. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good question, too. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you for asking it. I don't remember who it was. They didn't. Yeah, that was a lot, a long time ago. Yeah. Older. Those are older yeah, questions. We're, we're, we're trying to get around. We get so many questions. so. Okay. We just started, though, trying to keep up with everybody's name. So thank, thank you for sending whoever sent it in. Good question. Got one here. Uh, why doesn't Danny answer any more questions. <laughs> the reason being, they don't know nothing. <laughs> no, I'm not. Right not even there. Uh, Still don't. Got a, got a question from Jim M. Did Elvis ever record songs he never released? When you go and record uh, uh, a session and all, and you uh, go through the songs that you're going to put out, the, a lot of times they would record extra songs and they, what they call they kept in a can 
the can was, you know, songs that you may put out later or as a backup in case, say, you got uh, down where you couldn't uh, record and also they, they had that to fall back on. Uh, a prime example is when uh, he went into the Army. I got to actually go with him when he was recording. And uh, he done uh, four or five songs. And that's when I first met, uh, and he had just joined the group, uh, Ray Walker. And he was a bass singer. And uh, I just really liked his voice. And he, uh, he got him to sing bass on one of his songs with him. And then uh, y'all can listen to to the ones recorded back in, Big Hark of Love, and I don't know, just there were several of them that he recorded. And they released them while he was in the Army. So, you know, uh, that's, that's how that works. At the last, no, they had uh, depleted all, all the songs. And that's one of the reasons Elvis recorded it at Graceland. Uh, I think they did have a couple that they had in the can then, and uh, of course they were released uh, before Elvis uh, passed away, so, you know, uh, he didn't have any extras at all. They went back and got a lot that, you know, that uh, remixes and stuff like that, the ones that he did, but they were just a little bit different or had something added to them, and they released a lot of those. Is that when they <laughs> added? Is that when they added somebody singing with him? Like uh, um, no, that was done later. That uh, was that was yeah. another good question. That's what I mean. After his death. Yeah, after yeah, uh, after his death. You know. uh, and with that, what about your little question? You want to answer one? If you got enough. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Oh God. <laughs> it's Joe. Well, Joe's Joe just heart, walked in failed. the door, so you know what? I'll hold it till next time. But hey, we appreciate you each and every one of you, and remember. Shocked the hell out of me. We, we always, always live Elvis. <laughs> <laughs>